Hey there, what's going on? Um, I had an issue with my car. It's a 2007 BMW 328i. It's a sport package. I don't know if that matters, but just letting you know. Um, so basically, I had this this uh, accessory light where it says steering lock. Um, you know, to the left here. It said steering lock. You couldn't get past that screen. If I press the power button, um, it would just go... You know, it would say break, and then it would just completely turn off. So I couldn't get past accessory mode. Um, I did. I checked everything, checked the fuses, checked the starter. Um, I mean, I changed. I changed the the module for the key just in case it wasn't recognizing the key because the key um, key sign came up on the on the dash as well. And so I was messing with it for about a week. Um, the start of the, the the reason the issue started is because the battery died. So um, after charging the battery back up, putting it back in the vehicle, that's when the the issue with the with the uh, steering lock um, started up. So doing some research, I I figured out um, a lot of people are using Insta D to unlock their vehicle to get it to the point where it, it'll work. Unfortunately, I do not have Insta D. I do not have the uh, capabilities to get a um, OBD2 to USB cable. So what I did was um, I used a OBD2 scanner, a Snap-on scanner. Um, let me see if I can find it right here. Yeah, it was similar to this one. Uh, let's see. It was this. It was that exact one right there. Um, so that is the exact scanner I used. It allowed me to to go into the EC. I'm sorry, the CAS system, and reset the ELV counter. Now that was my issue. The steering. It had a steering lock counter, and I needed to reset the ELV counter through the CAS. So if you run into this issue where you can't start the car and it has that little symbol, um, like I was just showing you, this symbol right here, your steering is locked. You'll need to get an OBD2, uh, a good OBD2 scanner and uh, reset this, the ELV. That is the, that as soon as I did that, um, I reset, you know, cleared all the codes, did all the rest of the stuff, restarted the vehicle, and you know, it started up like, like regular after that. I actually drove to work today just to make sure that it was still working. Um, my specific vehicle has 246,000 miles on it, so um, I'm not sure if it was, you know, just how old the car is that the ELV counter um, reached its limit, but that was what fixed it for me. It wasn't the starter, it wasn't fuses, it wasn't you know any of the other things that we ran into um, trying to do research. So if this video helps you, I hope it does. Um, you know, it, it, you know, basically, hopefully it saves someone some time. It took me a week to figure out how to get it done. I had to borrow, you know, a $7,000 scanner from someone to get it done. And um, if you have a good scanner, you're already ahead of the game, so. Hopefully this problem does not happen to anyone, but if it does happen to someone, hopefully you come across this video and you're able to get it um, rec uh, fixed quickly. So you guys have a good one. If this video helps you, like and subscribe. Um, I normally put out, you know, fix it videos, stuff like that. I'm a, I'm a DIY type of person. I like to fix things myself and build things myself. So if you're into that, you know, follow, like, have a good day. I have a Mach-E uh, review coming soon, 10,000 10, mile review, so if you guys are interested in electric vehicles, I have one of those. Um, have a good day.